Hey guys, Pharmacist Jeff here. Today I want to talk to you about antihistamines. For those people out there that suffer from allergies, antihistamines can help them out a lot with their symptoms of congestion in the head and watery itchy eyes and sneezing and coughing and that sort of stuff. So normally when you go into a pharmacy to look for an antihistamine, the section can be huge, anywhere from our small section here of about four feet and six or seven shelves to as much as oh, 12 feet or more of antihistamine section. That can be overwhelming at times for some people, but I want to break it down for you and show you that there's not a lot of difference that's in that category. So, first of all, I can break it down into two categories. One is antihistamines that may make you drowsy, and the other category, of course, are those that may not make you drowsy. So let me show you an example of an antihistamine that may make you drowsy. We're all familiar with this one, Benadryl. Benadryl is an antihistamine that's been on the market for years now. Uh, works great, but you got to take it up to four times a day, so every six hours, and you could take two, which is 50 milligrams every six hours. The disadvantage with this is, a couple, one is you got to take it a lot throughout the day, and the other is it's going to make you drowsy. There's another one out there, uh, it's called chlortripolon or chlorpheniramine. We don't stock it, unfortunately, but that's another antihistamine that's out there. Works great. Again, multiple daily dosing and it may also make you drowsy. The other, other category that's out there is the non-drowsing uh, antihistamines, and there's a bunch in that group. I'll show you a couple. Reactine, Arius, reach for this one, Claritin, and Allegra. They're all non-drowsy, supposedly, non-drowsy antihistamines, and most you just take once a day. Unlike the Allegra, this particular product I have here is twice a day on this one. So the beauty of these are you have once daily dosing on most and non-drowsy. So you can still function throughout the day without falling asleep at the wheel or if you're using that heavy equipment, the big tractors or whatever, you have no issues. The other neat thing about everything that you see here, uh, here at Pharma Choice we have an Option Plus brand, which is equivalent to the brand names, but significantly less expensive. For example, you have your Arius, and you have our Option Plus Desiratidine. You got your Reactine, you got the generic brand, you got your Claritin, the generic brand or store brand, etc. So it can be a little shocking at times when you look at some of the brand name once daily non-drowsy antihistamines because it can be quite expensive but our store brand equally as effective but a fraction of the price so look for the, the uh, store brand there as well the other thing I wanted to mention in with regards to the antihistamines is you have to watch out for some of the products that's got other ingredients in it everything that I just showed you pretty well anyone uh, can take them there's usually no issues with uh, other medications that you're on still check the label or check with us pharmacists but some of them get out there and they start getting more shelf space by putting other ingredients in it to help out. Like just one example is the Allegra D. The D standing for a decongestant, which also helps open up your head a little bit. But the decongestant is usually Sudafed or some other or decongestant that's in there. But that's where the issue occurs with other medications. So if someone's on uh, blood pressure meds, uh, they're diabetic, thyroid uh, issues, prostate issues, decongestants are usually avoided in those individuals. So you got to be careful with those combination products. Advil Cold and Sinus Plus, again, it's got your Advil or ibuprofen in it, of course it's still red. Uh, it's also got a decongestant and an antihistamine. Again, once you start getting into the products that's got more ingredients in it for multiple symptoms, you may have more of an issue uh, with certain individuals that are on medications other medications, blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid, etc. So you had to be careful with that sort of thing. So it, it can, like I say, it can look overwhelming when you come into the pharmacy initially, but if you start breaking it down, it becomes quite simple on how to choose a product. Of course, the simplest way to choose a product is to come see us, uh, either myself, Stephen, or Joanne, the pharmacist here, who can help you pick out a product, or if you're at a store that's not here in Cornerbrook, drop in to see your pharmacist. They'll be more than welcome to help you out. Uh, if you have any more questions for me or anyone here on our team, come on in. We're here at City Pharmacy on 12 West Street. 
Thanks a lot. See you later.